Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to our channel. I know it's been a minute since we've got back to you guys about either the PCS binder or the part four to coming to South Korea, non-command sponsor, specifically to Osan Air Base. Um, Seoul just opened up to us, you guys, so we took advantage since we've been here. We haven't been able to go there. And like I said, we're only gonna be here for a year, so we wanted to go before they took it away from us. Um, so I hope you guys understand, but we have all the questions that you guys have asked us written down. So I hope that it's not too late for you guys, but um, we do have them written down and we plan on sitting down this weekend to video that vlog for you guys and answer all those questions. There's a lot that has been going on, a lot has changed, so we have a lot of things to share with you guys. But today in this vlog, I have for you guys the long-awaited, awaited, <laughs> PCS binder for overseas. So let's get into it. All right, hey guys, how's it going? All right, so it is officially the next weekend and I know that in this video, I promised you guys that we would do part four for coming here non-command sponsored to Osan Air Base. Unfortunately, um, a couple days after I had originally filmed this PCS Binder video, Christian had actually crashed his scooter. So he was coming home from work and um, He's okay, <laughs> uh, but um, a couple of things, obviously, like he did get a little bit banged up. So um, yeah, we uh, are actually getting a car tomorrow, so no more scooter for us. And um, yeah, he got pretty banged up, like I said. So he actually has a big hole in his pants now for work, and uh, his knee got pretty banged up. His steel toe work boots were like where the steel part is, was completely like showing on his boot in the front. And uh, the mirror on his scooter hit his eye right here pretty bad. So the inside of his eye, like the white was really red and like bloody and he had like, you know, scuff marks and scratches and stuff right here on his eye. So when he came home, he had all this blood on him. I was like freaking out. But luckily um, we did go to the emergency and got him all checked out and he is good. There's no broken bones or anything like that. And his eye is gonna heal perfectly fine. It's not going to impact his vision or anything like that. So he is fine, but he does not want to be on camera right now because of the way he looks because of his obvious appearance right now. So when he is all healed up, we will be recording the part four. Unfortunately, it's not going to be this weekend, and I'm sorry about that. Um, but we did want to mention that if you guys have any questions that you need answered sooner than later, please feel free to inbox me on Instagram right here. If you guys are not following me already, um, go ahead and hit us a message up on there. Um, you can also comment down below. Uh, you guys can email us as well. All of that information will be in the description box as far as like um, all of our other social media and ways to get a hold of us. Um, that way, if you guys have any questions and you're waiting for that part four to be put out, you're not waiting that long, um, just so we can help answer any questions you guys have sooner than later. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much the update. We are getting a car, so I know that's something that we didn't have really planned, being here only for one year. So um, stay tuned for that video because we will show you guys like, the new car we get because we're getting it tomorrow, which is Tuesday. <laughs> so uh, this video, I hope you guys enjoy uh, as far as the PCS binder goes. If you guys have any questions as well for the PCS binder, please go ahead and comment down below. I know that it has been a really long time since we have promised that part four video, but uh, I swear you guys, we were working on it. It just seems like every time we have plans to like sit down on a weekend to do it for you guys, something comes up and this was supposed to be the weekend, but uh, yeah, so as soon as he is all healed up, which he's healing up pretty quickly, you guys, so um, maybe next weekend. I'm not going to make you guys any promises, but we will try to get that out to you guys as soon as possible. Uh, aside from that, we're just going to keep on uploading these older videos that we are backed up on, which you guys have seen, I'm sure, if you guys are following us. Uh, we have a lot of Christmas videos that are being posted every so often, so we hope you guys are enjoying those videos as well. And uh, until next time, guys. We hope that you are enjoying our videos. Please remember to like, comment, and subscribe if you're new. We hope you guys stick around. If you're not new, hit that subscribe button. And uh, yeah. All right, so first of all, I have this really huge binder here. Um, I got this at Walmart. Um, I think next time though, uh, I'm probably gonna get the zipper one just because it feels more secure to me with everything being zipped inside. 
no chances of anything falling out. That's just my own personal preference. You can do whatever you like. I do have a like that this one has the slot here. So I was gonna like, you know, put a picture of us in here or something like that, but I just found this little piece of like um, paper like for scrapbooking and I put that in there, which that was cute. Little airplanes, you know? <laughs> Anyways, so I'm um, getting into here. The very first thing that I have inside my binder is, oh, there we go. These little um, compartments, this little thing right here. I got this at Walmart as well. And here I have obviously pencils and pens and then paper clips. And then there's another zippy thing here. And I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys what I have in there. So in the very top zipper, sorry, the bottom one, I have post-its. I didn't end up needing them, but I watched a lot of other videos where people talked about maybe needing these, so I did put these in there just in case. On the side of it, so it has a zipper um, in there. I got them lower you guys down. So in here, I have our, I put our tickets in here, and then I also put like our passports in here as well. So so I put that in this little side zipper compartment. I just feel like a lot of compartments look good with zippers because things won't get lost in there. So pens, pencils, paper clips, post-its right here, and then um, yeah, side pocket here, passports, and um, flight tickets is what I put in there. All right, so we also used these clear little like dividers that have like the little side things where you can put what is in that section and it has like these little like so it has like those little pockets also um so right here so it has like little pockets so you can put like stuff in there um i'm gonna use a blank sheet of paper just to kind of cover for privacy reasons um of stuff that we have in here also so um has these clear little dividers like I said with pockets and then the little side thing here so you guys can put what you have in what order so for us we had his orders um, in this first little like section as far as copies of orders goes we literally needed them at every single stop like I'm not even gonna lie you guys literally every stop at the airport we needed a copy of his order so make however many you feel like you're gonna need I think we made like maybe 10 copies um, for his so the first little slot is his orders and then um okay so another thing that we do have in our binder as well are these clear um i'm not sure what these are called but we use these clear ones as well to slide papers in also which is why i think that for our next binder i want to get the one that has the full round zipper because i'm not too wild about like needing to have something in the front as far as like decor or whatever um, i'm more worried about my stuff staying inside my binder and nothing falling out with these clear compartments obviously things can fall out of them so um that may be something that you want um to use instead of like dividers um i like the dividers because it helps me know what section i'm in but i also like these clear ones and these are all like extra ones in the back so we had the full size ones like this and then we also got um these ones right here so we got the pack that had multiple like little slots like these kind and then like the full ones as well so yeah everything that we got like i said was from walmart um nothing fancy let's see uh the second section in our binder um so that's basically everything I do have though as far as far as like materials go um maybe I think I had like a few blank sheets of like just lined paper so I could write notes as well if you don't want to use like the post-its all right guys so the very first section here we have um the orders and we have 10 copies in there and then along with the orders we also have in that section um secured circuitous travel forgive me <laughs> Um, also 10 copies of that, which is basically saying that um, we're not taking the Air Force flight, um, we're not taking the rotator. So yeah, second in our binder, we have um, documents. So I'm not going to show you our documents, obviously, but our documents consist of birth certificates, um, our marriage license, um things like that let's see what else do we have in here um 
uh, social security cards, marriage license, birth certificate, things like that, documents that we have in our documents. Um, our next section, we have travel. So we made a copy of our flight confirmation, um, rental because we got a car rental. So all that we put, like I showed you those clear little inserts from the back of the binder. That's what we put all those inside each little like divider there. So here is the divider here. And then, um, this is the clear little like thing here that we put our papers into, um, for each little section in between. Um, the next section is medical and the medical section we have, I have notes for you guys as well. All right. So, and the next section is medical. We have Presley, my daughter, her shot records. So you'd put all your kids records, your medical records, whatever you want to put in there, your, whatever medical records you want to like put in there, you would put in there. Um, maybe now since we have the whole like COVID thing going on, you want to put maybe your, uh, negative test results in there or maybe that you're vaccinated uh copies of that in there whatever you think that would help you guys medically in flight in route whatever um put in the medical section there that way it's you know all together for you the next section is hhg which is household goods we literally just have a copy of everything from the movers we took we came here non-command so we took very little um so we have a copy of that and then we also have a record of our own video pictures and a list and a little checklist of our own as well for personal record of all of our things that were shipped here. We also have a copy of um, and picture and video of things that we put in storage as well. Um, pictures and video obviously are not in my binder, but that is something you may want to consider like having um, for your stuff. Um, but yeah, we wrote everything down as well. And we have that in the HHG section of our binder. Um, so yeah, copy from the movers. Uh, we also have like uh, receipts, pictures, inventory uh, for ourselves. Uh, we took video, photos of everything. Um, the last, or not last, but the next section is finance. So copy of um, hotel receipts. Uh, for reimbursements so things like that anything that you receipts wise that you guys get put them in there um, for finance reasons for reimbursements uh, and then I believe our last section in here is legal so in the legal section we have our storage contract since we are here non-command sponsor we have a storage unit at our last base um, so we have a storage contract in here we also have a copy of our home lease from our last house that we were at uh, we have a bill of sale for firearm because my husband sold his gun also in florida and uh, we sold our his friend's car so we have the power of attorney also in this section um, we also have paperwork for our cars that we sold as well we sold two cars out there a copy of the title transfer things like that are in the finance section in the back in the clear pouches i also have um things that my husband was able to print out that was emailed to him from his sponsor which is Turumi lodge reservation forms and processing paperwork information um things like that and then just like i said empty clear sheets uh things like that all those things were emailed to him from his sponsor and he printed them out and they were very helpful while we were in quarantine because it helped us out with phone numbers things like that. So if you have a helpful sponsor like that, that's awesome. Print those things out because it may help you. All right, you guys, so that is the end of the PCS binder. The only thing you may want to add that is different is maybe your pet's information. Make a section for your pets if you have pets. We unfortunately don't have our dog with us, so we don't have any of his information with us in our binder. My mom has all that because she has him. But yeah, so that is it. If you have any questions, go ahead and drop them down below. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please remember to like, comment, and subscribe. Until next time, guys, take care. Peace.